three. So you asked about the range of frequency um, from 80 hertz to two hertz, and that most other machines don't uh, don't have that range of frequency. And what it makes it different, what makes their vibe different, and why that why that's useful. Uh, and especially about the frequency used at uh, the, the energy, the energy used at those lower frequencies. Well, it's true that at lower frequency you want to do higher amplitude to get the same force, otherwise there's really no effect on the body and then there's very little benefit. But what TeraVibe does is it, it actually stores the energy on the downward stroke, so when you're falling on the plate, as gravity is pulling you down, that energy is stored and then used and released again on the upward stroke. So that helps to um, reduce the overall amount of power that the device uses. So that's um, kind of like a like a hybrid car when you brake, it stores that energy and then it uses it again when you when you when you accelerate away. So the other other part of that question was about the range. Um, the range of frequency and most vibration plates tend to work in the sort of 30 to 50 hertz range, uh, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And that's more to do with the way that they're constructed. So uh, operating at much lower frequencies or much higher frequencies wouldn't really be useful. Especially the crank or motor-driven type with a rotary motor and a weight. At the low frequencies, there's very little effect. There's very little movement, and so there's really not much benefit in the body. And at the much higher frequencies, it's very powerful and quite uncomfortable and in fact not good for you. Whereas with the, um, with the sonic type of technology, the amplitude is varied um, throughout that entire range. So you can have low frequency and high amplitude, or high frequency and low amplitude, and then you get the same, uh, same effect, the same amount of force. 